There are over 6,000 genetic disorders that can be passed down through the generations, some so rare that those affected really struggle to get a proper diagnosis. That was the case for a Hollywood mom who struggled for months to figure out what was going on with her son. Well, newly diagnosed, he was with a disorder called USP7. Our medical specialist, Christy Kruger, has details now in our health report. When Orlasco's third child and first son was born 18 months ago, initially everything seemed great. Around the age of four months, that began to change. That's when I started to notice I was feeding him baby food for the first time and he would gag constantly. And then from there it was not crawling, not babbling, not being able to put any weight on his feet. Though her doctor told her nothing was wrong, her instincts told her otherwise. When Jacob was nine months old, she took him in to see a geneticist. Months later, after a series of tests, she finally had an answer. He walked in and he said, we got the results back and it's worse than we thought. Jacob is now one of fewer than 50 people in the entire United States diagnosed with something called USP7 syndrome, a neurodegenerative disorder that leads to a host of problems. Patients with this condition unfortunately have various degrees of intellectual disability, speech delays. Uh, about 20% of them are nonverbal. They may have autistic traits and various behavior abnormalities such as impulsivity and aggression. About 50% may develop seizures over time. Dr. Roman Yusupov, a geneticist with Joe DiMaggio Children's Hospital, says early therapeutic intervention is vital. To help with speech delays, behavioral problems, and improve weakness. Ora recently joined a social media support group and immediately got to work raising money to fund a research project underway at St. Jude's Hospital. In just a few weeks, she's closing in on $20,000 toward her goal of $50,000. So we're living in a day and age where he could, you know, they could possibly find a cure or treatment, and that means that my son has, you know, the possibility of having a close to normal life. To me, only good things come by talking about it. Ora Lasko and her family are hosting a one-mile walk at T.Y. Park starting at 9 in the morning this Sunday. It is actually designated USP7 Awareness Day. With your HealthCast today, I'm Christy Krueger.